Hey guys, this is Jose. I wanted to show you a new grinder I made. This is the 454. Um, this one has been uh, modified quite a bit from the ones that I'm going to use as the production model. This particular unit I made for myself. I used a 6 inch tracking wheel, which is pretty big. Um, regular tracking wheels are about 3.5 inches. Um, the drive wheel on this one is a 10 inch drive wheel, so you can see how big it is. Um, regular dr drive wheels are anywhere from 4 inches to 6 inches. Um, and then I've got an 18 inch wheel on the front, so I pretty much stuffed the biggest wheels I can find on this grinder. Um, it uses 84 inch belts when it's set up like this. Um, if I use a 10 inch belt, it will do 72 inch. Okay, let me move it around some. Now here I've got my spark guard. This keeps the sparks from hitting me in the face when I'm grinding. It's adjustable so I can adjust the, the amount. It goes up and down for different wheels. Um, plate steel body um, the newer ones um, will have solid plate all the way down this is one it was a prototype one of a kind and I made it this way um, for a couple reasons I was going to just have two bars and then just go back but then afterwards I decided to add these um, the ones that are going to be in production will just be complete straight down without the cutout um, another thing about this one here is the motor is lifted up quite high um, that is to be able to use a 10 inch wheel the other ones that are being produced now will um, have the motor motor in a lower position that way uh, this tool arm will go all the way back and not hit the motor um, this is just set up for uh, pretty much my 16 and my 18 inch wheels um, and uh, so the other thing I, ha I did on this since uh, in order to stop and start uh, such a large wheels um, it takes a lot of momentum I went and set up a um, one of those a KBDA 27D digital that one would trip when I try to stop it um, I used a regular K back 27 that one also tripped so the third drive I chose was this AC tech lens um, 2 horsepower 220 volt MC 1000 series this one is really nice inside of here it has six capacitors it's got a whole row of capacitors here and then across the top um, really need that when you stop and start such heavy wheels um, if you don't have enough power or a good uh, DC injection braking system in the drive which a lot of drives don't have any type of braking um, it will trip it and um, this one I was able to set up the ramp just perfect the stopping just right so I'll start it and stop it and then you'll hear a little humming at the end that will be the injection braking set up at uh, I think eight seconds Now, if I have this running at full speed, um, the injection braking will stop at the same time, so you won't hear that hum. But when you turn it down, the brake kind of uh, keep the brake keeps on going past um, just to make sure it stops. Um, but it's a very nice drive. Went ahead and put a potentiometer on this one. It was a real pain to put this in. Um, not just drilling the hole. I'm talking about actually setting up the parameters to be able to control the drive I don't want to do that again it took me like two hours to get that figured out um, but I guess that's the way it is with all drives it takes a while to actually figure out all the parameters and setups um, so let me start and stop this one more time so you can see
next up that's a uh, new grinder I built for myself 10 inch drive wheel 18 inch contact wheel 6 inch tracking wheel um, thanks for watching guys